Let me give you one more. This one. This one's one that's been used to condemn us like crazy. John chapter 14, verse 12. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Did you hear because I go to my Father? It's the same thing Jesus will say in John 16 when he says, because I go to my Father, the Holy Spirit's going to come. If I don't go to my Father, you're not going to receive it. And then in John 14, you're going to do greater works than these because I go to my Father. And that's been used to condemn us a lot because people will say, see, you're not doing the greater works than Jesus. Jesus healed the sick and raised the dead. And so you people need to commit yourself more because we're still not doing the greater works than Jesus did. But I'm here to say to you a lot of times this stuff has been used to condemn us unnecessarily because we simply don't understand what greater works are. We don't understand what we get to do that Jesus, stay with me here, what we get to do that Jesus didn't get to do. What you have that Jesus wasn't able to touch, please understand this. Jesus is on his way to the cross. He does not get to use the benefits of the new covenant while he's living in an old covenant world because he's yet to die at Calvary. And yet you were born on the other side of the inauguration of the new covenant in which Jesus both died and was buried and resurrected and ascended and then poured the Holy Spirit out on you so that you could have the full range of benefits of everything that Jesus was dying to inherit. You could get all of it and then all of it become available to you. You literally have the power and the ability to introduce someone to new creation reality and then become a new creation like that. Jesus has to say to people he has healed, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. You never have to say that to someone. Why did Jesus say it? Go and sin no more lest the worst thing come. You're living in an old covenant world in which there's curses attached to disobedience. If you go back out here and screw up, you're probably going to get some bad stuff happening to you. And it's going to be because you live under an old covenant. Jesus could not say to someone that they could go and sin no more because I live inside of you. Never was he able to say that. Go and sin no more because I have given you the Holy Spirit who won't lead you into the rocks. No. Instead, he said, because I go to my Father, you get to do greater things than I'm doing. And we've been condemned because we ain't raising the dead. And the reality is we get to watch people get ushered from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son in a split second. And Jesus says, that's the greater work. That's the greater work. You get to bring new creation reality into people's existence and you get to do it every, day, every time you open your mouth if you choose to. If you choose to, you get to pour kingdom into people every second of every day. Or, or you can determine your worth based upon what's going on in society. You can determine your value based upon what you saw in the mirror. You can determine whether or not you are worthy based upon what religion tells you. You have that option. I don't take that away from you because this is freedom. And he who in the sun sets free is free indeed, even free to make stupid decisions about themselves. Even free to determine that they're not righteous. Free to determine that they're not holy. Free to determine that they need to do more to get more. You're free to do that. God doesn't stop you. A lot of us think utopia would be a place where no one could fail. In God's eyes, utopia was a place where he had a man and a woman created in his own image who got to eat all they wanted and sleep together all the time to procreate. And God said, go do that. Be blessed. But I want to make sure you love me. And I want to make sure that you know I love you. So there's a tree. If you want a shortcut, eat it. If you want the long way, the straight way, the narrow way, the true way, don't eat it. Me and you will discover the tree of life together. What did man choose? He usually does. Because you can taste, taste it and touch it and feel it and handle it. We love the basic elementary principles of the world. Taste not, touch not, handle not. God's version of utopia was not put them in a garden where they can't fail. God's version of utopia was put them in a garden where they can fail. And let them choose you. Yeah. Always I, I believe the kingdom has come upon you. And you live in a world where people still have the right of refusal. Because that's liberty. Yeah. Liberty is the right of refusal. Liberty is the right to choose. It's the right to choose his freedom, his liberty. It's the right to allow the Holy Spirit to dictate and govern your life. It's your your ability to follow and flow 
and who the Holy Spirit is. What a greater work. What a greater work.